वेलकम टू ऑडियो वीडियो सिस्टम इन दिस सेशन आई प्रोफेसर हितेश दोलकिया गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू पैरामीटर्स ऑफ साउंड एंड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस सेशन दीज आर माय सेशन आउटलाइंस वेर इन दिस सेशन फर्स्ट आई विल बी गोइंग टू कवर इंटेंसिटी ऑफ साउंड एंड बेस्ड ऑन इंटेंसिटी ऑफ साउंड in this session i'll explain you two parameters phone and zone of sound and then i'll be explaining different parameters like pitch and timbre of sound and then i'll explain overtones harmonics interval and octaves of sound and then i'll sum up this session with examples on harmonics interval and octaves so let us begin this session with first point and that is intensity of sound so basically intensity of sound that is measured in terms of watt per meter square so this is the unit of intensity of sound watt per meter square when we talk about the threshold of hearing so threshold of hearing that is just about audible sound so below that we humans cannot listen sound so threshold of hearing it is just about audible sound and intensity of it that is 1 pico watt per meter square and it has a pressure of 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton per meter square so this is what threshold of hearing it has intensity 1 pico watt per meter square and it has pressure that is there in terms of 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 newton per meter square and when we talk about threshold of pain so that is what a maximum painful sound beyond that our ear drums will get fail so this is very painful sound so beyond this sound our ear drums of ear that will get fail so this is what threshold of pain and its measurement in terms of intensity that is 10 volt per meter square and it has a pressure of 63 newton per meter square so this is threshold of hearing and this is threshold of pain so in this vicinity from threshold of hearing to threshold of pain there are different range of sound that human can interact about so to see few of those cases here we have some cases like see there are some types of sound that one can see threshold of hearing as i have told it is 2 into 10 to the power minus 5 pressure and see intensity that is 10 to the power minus 12 means 1 pico watt per meter square right here different cases are given like rustle of leaves so that is having this pressure and intensity which is written here average resident sound that is 20 into 10 to the power minus 4 newton per meter square pressure and it has intensity 10 to the power minus 8 watt per meter square ordinary conversation that is having pressure of 63 into 10 to the power minus 4 and intensity that is there in terms of 10 to the power minus 7 normal speech even that one can see it is having pressure of 0.1 pascal and intensity about 0.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 watt per meter square thunderstorm is having sound and that is having pressure about 2 pascal and intensity about 10 to the power minus 2 heavy traffic is even listed here one can see and threshold of pain as i have told it is having pressure of 63 pascal and intensity that is about 10 watt per meter square so this is what we can see for some basic types of sound and based on that we can understand what could be the intensity of sound and how sound is getting characterized so to learn sounds characteristic there are some parameters that we need to understand and first basic parameter based on that is phone now see phone that is measured 
that is measuring loudness of sound. So loudness of sound intensity in terms of dB over threshold of hearing as perceived by ear at 1000 Hz is called as phone. So ultimately loudness of sound in terms of dB at frequency 1000 Hz is phone. So let us try to understand what is it exactly. See intensity at 1000 Hz. If I say if it is having 0 dB in that case phone is 0. If I say intensity is 40 dB at 1000 Hz then loudness is 40 phone. So we measure phone that is intensity in terms of dB at frequency 1000 Hz. Now see if intensity of 60 dB is happening with 40 Hz frequency and that gives same loudness as 0 dB with intensity of 1000 Hz then loudness at 40 Hz is 0 phone. It is not 60 phone. So here one thing that we need to take care of that is intensity of loudness in terms of dB at frequency 1000 Hz is referred as phone. So it is possible like different frequencies are having different loudness, right? So we need to compare that with respect to frequency of 1000 Hz and that is where we consider unit of phone. So if loudness that is there in terms of frequency 1000 Hz, then that is directly said to be phone. But for other frequency, we need to compare that with respect to loudness which is there with 1000 Hz. Now let us see some more parameter. Now see sone. So sone is even used to determine loudness. So it is used to determine increase in loudness. Now loudness sensation produces by 1000 Hz sound of 40 dB that is referred as one sone. So when we talk about loudness and if it is having loudness of 40 phone at 1000 Hz then that is referred as one zone. So increase in zone value in dB is given by P minus 40 where P is phone 40 that is dB into log of 2. So from phone we can calculate soon by this basic formula P minus 40 into log of 2. So that will result calculation in terms of soon. So that even explains you how much loudness is there in sound. Now see relationship in between soon and phone that one can have and that is in terms of dB. See this is what I have told in terms of dB, right? So that is 10 log of zone is equals to P minus 40 into log of 2. So this is the basic formula which we need to use it to translate phone into zone, where phone is P and zone that is L. So 10 log of L is equals to P minus 40 into log of 2. And as we have discussed earlier, phone that is intensity in terms of dB at frequency 1000 Hz. So for other frequency, it is possible same loudness is there. So we need to compare that with respect to frequency of 1000 Hz. So from phone, we can calculate zone. Now let us discuss pitch. Now see pitch is determined by the frequency of sound and frequency is measured in terms of Hz. So pitch is determined by frequency of sound. Human ears can perceive range of frequencies and that is ranging from 20 Hz to 20 kilohertz. But in speech and music, pitch of sound not only depends on frequency but it also depends on intensity. So in speech and music, we need to see frequency as well as intensity and unit of pitch that is M-E-L, mel. 
so mel m e l that is a unit of pitch and pitch is been characterized by frequency as well as intensity 1 mel that is a tone of 1000 hertz frequency with 40 db intensity so a tone of 1000 hertz frequency with 40 db intensity that is even one zone and that is even referred as 1 mel so 1 mel it is a tone of 1000 hertz with intensity of 40 db so that is 1 mel the relationship between pitch and frequency is non linear so you will be finding for higher frequency lower loudness is required and for lower frequency higher loudness is required so humans need higher intensity to listen lower frequencies and lower intensity to listen higher frequencies so see this is why it have been said like relation in between pitch and frequency is non linear right so we need to understand pitch that is even depending on frequency as well as it is depending on loudness right and here loudness means intensity so intensity and frequency both will justify pitch and that is having unit of mel mel and 1 mel is equals to 1000 hertz with 40 db intensity and as we know human needs higher intensity to listen lower frequency and lower intensity to listen higher frequencies so this is what about pitch now let us discuss timber now see what is timber timber is actually explaining tonal characteristic of sound so to understand what kind of sound that is there we need to understand timber of that sound so we can differentiate different sounds according to their timber like see for example right now you are listening to me so right now you are listening to hitesh dolakia so sound of hitesh dolakia that you have it right now right now you will be observing your sound is different than my sound so that we can differentiate because of timber so it is what tonal characteristic our voices are having different timbers and each timber is having different proportion of frequencies so based on different frequency of proportion we can have a value of different timber so different people are having different frequency proportion and that has been justified by timber so timber is been utilized it is been characterized to set tonal characteristic right like see one can say intensity may be same but frequency proportion is different so that sound will be different in terms of feeling right so timber justifies tonal characteristic now let us discuss overtones and harmonics so sound consists of group of frequencies so sound consists group of frequencies and frequencies other than fundamental frequencies are overtone so lowest frequency that is fundamental frequency and other than fundamental frequencies are overtones and all frequencies are considered as harmonics so if i say first harmonic so that is fundamental frequency and second harmonic that will be first overtone third harmonic that will be second overtone likewise we have set of frequencies so sound consists group of frequencies other than fundamental frequencies are overtone all frequencies are considered as harmonics so we can say first harmonic is fundamental frequency which is lowest frequency second harmonic will be first overtone third harmonic will be second overtone likewise we can understand overtone and harmonics now let us try to understand what is interval and octave in sound 
so ratio of two frequencies is referred as interval so like if i say i have a sound which is having frequency starting from f1 to f2 so f2 by f1 that is referred as interval so here example is given if frequency range that is given from 100 hertz to 800 hertz then interval will be f1 gem f2 that is 1 gem 8 so octave based on interval we can define octave and octave is equals to log of f2 by f1 divided by log of 2 so if you place this over here this will be log of 8 divided by log of 2 and that has to be 3 like see log of 8 8 is 2 to the power 3 so 3 come front and log of 2 will get cancel and that will make octave is equals to 3 for this case so if frequency range is given by 100 hertz to 800 hertz then octave will be 3 so this is how relation in between octave and interval is there now let us try to understand this with one more example like see equation is calculate interval octave and harmonic for frequency range 62.5 hertz to 1 kilohertz so interval will be ratio of this two and octave will be that log of interval divided by log of 2 so log of interval that is 16 log of 16 divided by log of 2 so that will be 4 so octave is equals to 4 and interval is 1 gem 16 that is 62.5 divided by 1 kilo that is 1000 and here see how many intervals are there so calculate see next question calculate interval and harmonics frequency for frequency 50 hertz to 125 hertz so interval will be 50 gem 125 that is 2 gem 5 so harmonic 125 is not a harmonic why the reason is harmonic should be there in super multiple form right so 125 is not a harmonic of 50 hertz because harmonic has to be integer multiple of fundamental frequency so fundamental frequency that is 50 hertz so fundamental frequency is 50 hertz and last frequency that we are saying it is 125 it is not super multiple of 50 so it is not super multiple of 50 means this is not harmonic so first harmonic that is 50 next will be 100 right and third is 150 but it is not there in this range so only two harmonics are there one is 50 that is fundamental frequency and second that is 100 which is second harmonic and one can say it is first overtone so that is how we can understand these examples i hope that you have understood these questions and this is all about parameters of sound you can download this material from my application engineering funda so that will be helpful for some other engineering subjects even i have com completed so many engineering subjects you can see on my channel as well as you can download materials from my application thank you so much for watching this video